Here I'm going to show you seven different ways to use the newer filter function. We'll start off with a kind of regular filter on two fields, then we will sort it, limit the number of results that can be returned, and then get the top number of results, however many you want, the bottom number, and then a top and bottom percent. Now make sure to download this file so you can follow along. A link to it will be in the description of this video. And a like, subscribe, and click the little bell icon so that I can make more videos. Well, let me show you what I've got here. So here we have our raw data table. And this is a pretty basic table, but it does have a name. So I have named it TBL raw, and that'll make it much easier to use formulas for this. So we are going to have some nice structured references for this table. And I'll let us start off with the very first example. We are going to do a filter on multiple fields. And we're only going to be returning the item ID field for all of these examples so that I can fit them nicely here on the worksheet. Equals filter. And the first argument is what would we like to return, a single column or the entire table? If you want the entire table, start typing the name of the table, TBL raw, there we go, tab, and that's going to return every column from the table. But if we just want an individual column, do an open bracket, and we get a list of all the columns or all of the references that we can make, so including all data headers totals, and this is just table structured reference syntax. And you can see it makes it much easier to input our formulas. We don't even have to go to the other worksheet. And I want item ID, close up the bracket, comma, and include. Time for the arguments. And here is where we make our checks. And we want two checks, one for Acme and one for gardening. So our first check will be within these parentheses. And we reference table raw, open bracket. Now the column that we care about, well, Acme is a manufacturer, so I care about M. FR. Then I close that bracket. And what do I want? Well, I only want this guy if it equals Acme. Now that is our very first check. But we want it if it is Acme and gardening. So we are going to multiply this by the next check. This can be kind of confusing if it's your first time seeing this. So if that's the case, check the description of this video for a link to my filter tutorial. But now let's go TBL raw, open bracket, and down to category. And uh, this one should equal gardening. And now we only return results that are the Acme manufacturer and the category gardening. So let's go to the final argument for the filter function. If empty, what do we want to return? How about nothing? Then close it up. And there we go. The filter function is amazing. Now, let us sort those results. And to do that, we have a great function. I'm going to build it out here first, and then we will combine it with the filter function. So to sort, let's go equals sort. And all we really need here is the array argument. We want to sort these guys. So I can select all of these. And the little hashtag guy is for Excel 365, as are all of these functions, actually, or most of the ones we're going to use in this tutorial. And the hashtag says to reference all of the little spilled results. So if I close that up now, it will sort them. And it's really as easy as that. Now, if you have multiple columns returned, you may want to use the sort index argument or sort order or by column argument. Here we do not need them, but they can be helpful, so don't forget about them. But now let's go ahead and combine these, because in the real world you are going to want to have them in a single cell. And we go like that, and there we go. Now let's do something really interesting. So here, let's take these results and limit it so we only get five results returned. Now I'm going to do this using the index function. The index function is going to return a number of values that occur at a specific position. Usually it just returns a single value. So if I go like this and say 1, then we get ASC1. If I say go to position 3, we 
you will get ASC-4. However, we can, for a row number, input multiple rows. So if we type an array, one, two, three, and the squiggly braces means it is an array, and I hit enter, we get one, 17, and four. Now, if I change, this is kind of interesting, the comma to a semicolon, then it will be in a column. But we have a new and great function that will make this much easier for us. Sequence. And let's go for five results. Enter. And there we go. So there is an old function that we get to use in this tutorial, the index function. And finally, we shall combine this to make a little bit of a monster formula right here. And there's our final filtered on multiple fields, sorted, and limited formula. And it is now time to go down here and limit by largest and smallest. We start off the same equals filter and TBL raw and item ID. But for the arguments for include, we only have one check to make, so we do not need to add parentheses. We will go TBL raw. Let's check the price. And here I only want something that is greater than or equal to a large. And the large function, as you see here, returns the kth largest value in a data set. So I can find the first, the second, the third largest, and then compare all the prices against that. So I only want a value that has a price greater than or equal to the third largest price. So large, open, and what is the array? TBL raw price, close it up, and input a three. Close up the large function, comma to go to the last argument for filter. If empty, let's output nothing. Close it up, and uh, there we go. There is our final formula. And for smallest price, we are going to do a very similar thing. Let me get rid of all of these. Uh, this one will be a very similar. So TBL raw item ID and TBL raw price. But we want a price that is less than or equal to the third smallest value. And just like we have a large function, we have a small function. And we just feed it the correct array, so TBL raw price, and a three, close it up, comma, and return nothing if it is empty. Close it up, and we are good. So you can see how it seems complex at first, but the more that you do this, repeat it, repeat it, repeat it, it will become easier. So all we did here is to use the large function and compare it with everything in the price column and then the small function here. They are very, very simple functions. But now I'm gonna show you the next function that we need for these guys in the raw data worksheet. So let's zoom in just a little bit. And for this one, we need the percentile function, but we have a few of them, exclusive, inclusive, and a couple ranks, and the old one percentile. Here we are going to go with inclusive. And uh, this guy's going to let us get the top 10% and the bottom 10%. So what is the array? Well, we want to do it based off of price. So TBL raw price. There we go. Selected that column. And to get the top 10%, we do 0.9. Then close it up. Enter. And everything that is this or greater is going to be the top 10%. So then we can check the price column against this value. So all that we need to do is to uh, grab this guy. I'm gonna copy it. And you don't have to make it on the same worksheet as the data table. I only did that to show you how it works. And here we go with filter, TBL raw item ID, and TBL raw price. We want greater than or equal to, 
and paste in the percentile. And there we go. But don't forget, if empty, output, nothing. Close it up, hit enter, and there we go. The percentile function really is a handy little guy to have. And to get the bottom 10%, we pretty much can just copy this. And we will, let's go over here, make a very small change. 0.9 becomes 0.1. And greater than or equal to becomes less than or equal to. So you can make this as complicated as you need it to be to perform all of your checks. And the filter function really, really is great. So here we have seven examples of different types of checks that you can make with the filter function. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so that I can make more tutorials.